we go to Jason Mimic. This Phantom Bout is brought to you by Tentmaster, helping all the good people of Kansas City do it in the dark for over 30 years. Fighting out of the blue corner, G. Zarbano! And fighting out of the red corner, Alejandro Gomez! Round number one, black and gray trunks for Gene Zarbono, black and gold trunks. I am very Alejandro excited for this Gomez. fight. Two promising prospects, both very young in age, at 21 and 24 years old. Both these guys have a lot of potential. We can see both these guys in the UFC some days. One day we'll look back and say we saw these guys fight in this cage, but big, big cock, cock kick, throws him down, landing some good kicks here. It was the rear teeth that was caught, the takedown from Gomez. Zarbano back to his feet. Gomez inside heavy pressure, short right hand from Zarbano. Gomez is just a bull in there. He is literally just trying to overpower and just own the center of the cage, own the octagon. Whereas you see... We, we saw Gomi disengage on the grappling there. Good good call, right? Uh, we see Drew Zerbano has six wins, six out of seven of his wins by, by armbar. Yeah, let's not engage in the ground here and let, let's do what's being, what he's been successful in so far in this fight, which is keep it on the feet and land big strikes. Outside kick from Zerbano. Gomez on the sidekick. Looks like kick nothing there for Alejandro Gomez. Man, Zorbano is very calm right here. Doing everything correct. Beautiful Boy. level change by, by Alejandro Gomez. Just timed it, right? Uh, Gene came in with some big strikes, kind of uh, putting his shoulders in front of hips, overcommitting to his shots, which made the takedown with the level change very simple, or easy, excuse me, for Alejandro Gomez. Gomez into the half guard of Gene Zorbano. Again, right here, Zarbano, you can tell, has a lot of jiu-jitsu experience on his back, and he's playing this jiu-jitsu side, whereas Gomi's trying to keep the pressure. I like to see Zarbano use those sweeps, use those legs. Oh, going in for a leg lock. I like to see him use it to get up and to get out of this position. We saw the up kick from Zarbano. Again, that's legal because Gomez is not grounded. Big shot from the top. He has all the posture in the world to land a big shot here. Right hand again from Gomez. Gomez looking to time the entry Boy. off of the right hand. See, right there, like I said, jujitsu in MMA is very, very subtle. You don't want to use it to sit there and play and guard, play heel hooks or anything like that, where, as you saw, Gomez is landing heavy shots. And what we saw earlier in the fight, excuse me, what we saw earlier in the fight was Gomez uh, stand up from guard, right? That, that's where Gene is, is, is dangerous with those arm bars, those triangles, the long length, the, those limbs of his, he's able to, to get submissions. But from half guard, he, he wants to stay on top here. There's no submission attempts that, that can be thrown up here. I mean, there is, but always oh, kick to a down opponent. Rounded oh. opponent recognized immediately by referee Robert Hastings and wow. calls time. Here come the boos. Yeah, that one, that one right there, I don't know if it landed. I, I didn't see it. It looked like it nicked, but it definitely was a downed opponent. You know, there's a lot of adrenaline right there. I, I don't think it was intentional. I think it was heat of the moment. But as a fighter, you are in command of all your strikes, right? You are in charge. You are. It's your responsibility to not throw illegal strikes, and that was an illegal strike. As you see, time called here by referee Robert Hastings. Here on the replay, let's see if that lands. Ooh. -wee. Just a toe, toe catcher looks like. Yeah, hard but to see from that angle how flush it was. Maybe it was just a toe, maybe it was a couple toes, but either way, it's illegal. Yeah, either way, you know, he's a downed opponent and Gomi needs to, uh, you know, he needs to calm down in there and not try to go for the kill in that sense. Uh, where Zerbano is, you know, collecting his thoughts and everything. But I would like to see when this progresses as Zerbano to not play the ground game. We'll see oh, if Hastings takes a point, takes and a he's point. going to. One point deduction to Alejandro Gomez for that illegal kick to the head of Gene Zerbano, who was grounded. It did not matter the impact if any part of the foot or shin or knee lands, then that is the foul. Hastings did not have to take a point. It was at his discretion, but he chose to do so. Yeah, with 15 seconds left in this fight, uh, I don't believe this is enough for a 10-8 round. So this this isn't even. Oh, boom! I spoke too soon. Gomez. Rolling for the leg lock. Back take wow. now, standing from Zarbano. Final seconds of round number one. What a chin on Zarbano! That was a flush head kick. 
You know, right there, it is an even round because of the point deduction by Gomi uh, and that legal head kick. But he's doing a great job, Gomi, when he gets down. He's staying out of positions to get the arm lock or the arm bar. He's staying heavy. And as well as I want to see Zurbano utilize his sweeps, utilize his jiu-jitsu to get up. I think the striking, he's comfortable in it. He's a longer fighter. He can use the ability to land those punches to get on top or to get a takedown, but he's playing too much off his back. As Gomez, Gomez needs to continue being the aggressor, continue being the bull, because I think it's throwing off Zurbano's game. Yeah, yeah, I agree 100%, Julian. Uh, I'm interested to see what adjustments uh, Gene makes here in this next round. He got a takedown towards the end of the, the round, and, and he was successful with that takedown. Let's see if he tries to incorporate more of that wrestling. He's got long limbs. It's easy for him to lock his arms around, the, uh, around his legs uh, on a takedown on the fence. Let's see if he tries to do that this round. Again, the one-point deduction issued to Alejandro Gomez for the illegal kick that had him, Gene Zarbano, as he was grounded. So perhaps a 9-9 round, we start round number two. There's the teep again from Zarbano. Fainting on the rear teep. See the spear of blood on the face of Zarbano. If I'm in Zerbano's corner, I'm telling him just to touch Gomi here. Just touch him. Don't overcommit on any shots. We saw in the first round him overcommit, and uh, all Gomi had to do was change his level, and the takedown just came, right? It, it, he didn't have to drive his feet or anything because Gene was already on his back just from the level change itself. Gomez with the right hand on the entry. Straight right to the left hand from Alejandro Gomez. Counter right hand, spinning back fist. Spinning back kick. There's the flash, the creativity from Gomez, and now the shot from Zarbano. Looking to collapse the knees. Back to the single attempt now for Zarbano. Gomez is doing a good job by using that guillotine that he has to set up to prevent the takedown and create the space instead of going for the guillotine as a submission. Gene needs to get off his knees here. He's not going to finish a takedown on his knees like he just did now. He got back up to his feet. He needs to, he needs to choose whether he wants head inside or head outside and, and run the pipe here. Hammer fist now from Gomez. Right to the body. Zarbano tenaciously still driving through with the single. Triangling his oh, legs got a through. Is that reverse Alejandro crucifix Gomez. going right now? Looking for the crucifix. Let's he's see if he jumps to over. Through. Yeah, he's trying that, to roll over. That fence might block him there. Looking for a rolling back crucifix. There's the creativity from Alejandro Gomez. Gomez has a, uh, looks like a, a Kimura set up right now. No. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. with the victory now 6-0 and oh, as an Ami in mixed martial arts. That was impressive, especially for a guy, you know, both these guys had, you know, not lost at all. Both of them have high-level jiu-jitsu credentials. And that position was such a oh, very awkward position that was set up by the crucifix. As he went over, he went for the triangle but grabbed the Kimura lock. We, as, didn't, have, we didn't have the best angle from where we were sitting, so we couldn't really tell if it was tight. I, I believe he locked him up with his legs, making him immobile, hard to move, and, and then he was able to get this Kimura. Let's see. He's got the Kimura right there, and he pulled it out. Yeah, oh, it's an arm lock, straight arm lock. Yeah, that's tight. And, and notice, he, he, Gomi was using his left leg to control his posture, making it very hard for, for Gene to posture up, right? And, and that's how he, he finished that Kimura. Yeah, man, hey, that was impressive. That was something that most people don't see there. When you go for that Kimura and you switch it over to that straight arm lock, the reverse arm lock, that, that was a lot of pressure, and congrats to Gomi. Our winner announcement is presented by Jack Daniels. Make it count. Here's Jason Nivens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended one minute and 40 seconds of the second round. Your winner by tap out, arm bar, out of the red corner, Alejandro! Gomez! Two extremely talented young Ami 35ers. 21 year old Gene Zarbano and, and the victor, 23 year old Alejandro oh. Gomez. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by Alejandro Gomez. What a fight, man. What a performance. It's been one way traffic in all your fights. Today you tested yourself against a 7 0 amateur and made it look easy. What was running through your head today? Uh, you know, every time I fight in here, I, I try to be as active as possible. And every time I get more normal, and this one just felt like a sparring round. I knew there was bigger repercussions, but you know, life has been pretty shitty lately, and uh, I'm just really grateful to come and do this. Uh, martial arts has been my keeping my sanity.
We love to hear that. In that first round, an unintentional head kick to a downed opponent. What was going through your head after that point deduction? Uh, well, I was trying to time him coming up. I was a little early on it. I felt really bad, but you know, that's the game. I'm, I felt really bad. If they would have DQ'd me, I would have just moved on to the next fight. That's the mentality to have. Still undefeated. What's next for you, boss? Uh, more 135 fights. Uh, I want to move down to 125 before going pro. That's my natural weight class. I don't really cut weight for these 135 fights, so. Keep this man away from me. Alejandro Gomez, ladies and gentlemen.